You want me to have the wedding here at Windermere? Of course. It's New Day, remember? <laughs> I mean, this house doesn't have to be a perpetual symbol of all the pain the Cassidines have caused, does it? I mean, it can just be a house, right? A big, uh, drafty, maybe a little gothic kind of house, but... <laughs> Yes, I'll put the staff to work. I think with enough flowers, we can cheer this place up. That is so sweet of you, but really, I don't want you to go to all that Mother, trouble. I offered, and it's my pleasure. Consider it your wedding gift. You're a wonderful son. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That is such a lovely offer, and yes, yeah. I accept. Good. <laughs> Oh, now I really do have to run because I've got to let right. Scotty know that there's a change of location. Okay, was well, there anyone you need me to, to, to reach, to invite, or...? Mm, I really wish that Lucky could be with us, but he's still in Africa. I finally got in touch with him, and uh, he's well, but he's really busy. This charity work that he's doing is so important to him, and yeah, I didn't want to interrupt that and summons him home. Well, I, I think I can speak for Lucky on this. As long as you're happy... That's all that matters. I'm so glad that I'm going to have you with me. <laughs> we'll get the rest of the family together. Later. Okay, you got it. Would you settle for some of the family right now? Well, how about a hug for your mother? Oh. Mom, you look wonderful. Oh, baby, so do you. <laughs> Did we surprise you? Yeah. You sure did. I didn't expect you till next week. Oh, somebody wanted to see his daddy. <laughs> Thank you for bringing Aww. him. I appreciate it. Come here, you. Oh, was he he missed grandma. Your grandma missed you. So what did you think, oh, think of Windermere so far? It's bigger than our house. Well, Windermere's our house, too. You just haven't been here in a while. Come on, let me go show you around. Oh. You spent time with your mother. Oh. All right. Have fun. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Now that it's all over, I don't mind telling you how scared I was. I'm sorry. Don't you dare apologize. Of course you had to go after Lulu. If it had been me and you had disappeared, I would have gone after you no matter what. I have no doubt. I'm relieved that everybody came through okay. Not everybody. Nothing has changed? No. Lulu still can't remember anything? No. She hasn't retrieved any of her memory at all. I, you know, I worked so hard to put my own life back together again, and now my daughter has been stolen from me. I really stolen from herself, because she's, she's just adrift. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know where she's going. We'll have to help her find her way. But what if she never gets her memory back? We'll build new memories. That's what you and I did. When we first reconnected, we had nothing. We had no past. We had no memories. We started from scratch. It can be done. <laughs> We're living proof. You're right, we are. <laughs> you have faith. You will be able to help your daughter. Thank you, Mom. I love you so much. I love you too. We're having a wedding. <laughs> what? Hey, Spencer, we, we have to go meet the housekeeper so we can tell her to buy up all the flowers in Poor Charles because this is this place is gonna be a little decoration. Okay. Me? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Nicholas is getting married? No, Mom, not Nicholas. Me. <gasps> oh <laughs> I, I'm marrying Scotty. You are marrying Scotty Baldwin? That's the plan. You already married him once. It didn't end well. Yeah, but I think it's safe to say that we have both grown up an awful lot since then, right? You have. Yes. Scotty, I'm not so sure about. Are you absolutely 100% certain that he isn't using this marriage to make a point that you were wrong to have left him all those years ago. Mom, you know that Scotty and I have been spending an awful lot of time together, right? Oh, yes. It's part of why I was happy to stay with Nicholas. I didn't have to watch Scotty romancing you. He wasn't romancing me, per se. 
He showed up in Paris 10 minutes after you did. He got an apartment three blocks away. He was always around. He was inviting himself over for dinner. He was taking you on little romantic outings. Yeah, because we enjoy each other. Have you forgotten what that man did to you, what he did to your family? Scotty made mistakes, and so did I. <clears throat> if you really loved him, if you really were 100% certain that this marriage is the right thing, you would have invited me to the wedding. Did it ever occur to you that I might not have told you about the wedding because I was trying to avoid the scolding that I'm getting right now? Oh. Huh? Hmm. Does Luke know about this? Luke is my ex-husband, Mother. He doesn't get to weigh in. Well, I certainly hope your mother still gets to weigh in because I refuse to let you make the same mistake. Mom, please. No, I mean I it, Laura. Like I mean you. it. You marry Scotty Baldwin, it will be over my dead body. But we would miss you so much. <sighs> Come on, Leslie. Can't you give your once and future son-in-law a proper hello? Would you settle for goodbye? I allowed you to marry Laura once. Never again. But we used to be so close. When did this all go south? Gee, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe it was when you killed my husband! Mom? Do we really have to do this now? This, this is our wedding day. Not if I can help it. Laura, you are about to marry the man who killed Rick and then left you to take the rap. What happened in the attic was a horrific misunderstanding. That's what you're calling it? A misunderstanding? I will always regret Rick's death. I never meant for Laura to take the blame. Rick was hurting her. She was screaming and she was yelling and I hit him. It happened so fast. I was just trying to protect Laura because I love her. And I'm going to marry her today with or without your blessing. I would like to have it. And I know it would mean the world to Laura. So forget about me and just think about her.